How's it going, everybody? This is Topher Welsh for VideoHive.net and VisualFXTuts.com. What I'm going to show you how to do today is to export high definition H.264 video out of After Effects and get around the error that you're almost probably always getting when you use that H.264 output module. Alright, so I got this little comp right here, and uh, my computer draws really, really slow because I need a new one. I know. I need to get with it. But uh, it just, it's a little rotation here. I got a, I got a shatter effect on here. It's on a, this piece of text. I used a solid with shatter applied, turned off my text, used the custom pattern, and then the custom shatter map and grabbed the number three text layer, so it made those. Then I increased the extrusion, brought down the depth, radius, and strength all to zero so that pretty much th those uh, blocks, which are the custom shatter map, are just hanging in midair. And then I put some textures on, just like a color texture, and then a layer texture on both sides to give it a little bit of depth, and you, know, you can clearly define the edges of it. And then I took this camera position for the Y rotation and just kind of slowly rotated it a little bit and faded it in and out. So what's cool about this is you can actually use the camera position within the shatter effect without actually having to turn it into a 3D layer or adding a 3D camera to your scene. So this is nice and easy, especially if it, this is your only 3D layer. The only bad thing about using shatter as your 3D text generator is there's no way to modify your edges or do like a bevel or anything like that. So. Anyways, let's get to the actual tutorial part of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this comp, and I already have it set up here in the output module, or in the render queue, and you can do that by going composition, make movie, or just hitting control M on the keyboard. So I have it named awesomecomp.mp4, aptly named. And so I have it on this H.264 output module and that's not really what we want but we're gonna try it out just so I can show you what's going on we're gonna try to render it right here and it's gonna say After Effects AEGP plugin media IO plugin there's a mismatch between output module settings and transcode settings and then down here it says frame dimensions out of bounds now this is the key on what's uh, going on here what's happening is this H.264 output module is created or was created to output like 720 by 480 size video or just regular NTSC or PAL video at uh, SD frame size. So what we're going to do instead of that, I'm going to hit control D and just duplicate this right here and we're going to go into the output module up here at format we're gonna pull down to QuickTime movie and then in format options this is already selected but usually animation is selected this is the one that you want if you are outputting lossless QuickTime movies and beware they are huge I think like one minute can turn into like almost three gigs I'm not totally sure don't quote me on that but what we're gonna use for this one is the H.264 output module, or the compression type actually. The H.264 compression type within the QuickTime movie output module. Okay, so you saw this pop up right here. It says After Effects for reliable output with H.264 compression, please choose it directly from the output module format menu instead of via QuickTime. Well, we already did that, so we already know that doesn't work. So let's uh, ignore this thing and just kind of always ignore this when you're using this workaround. So just gonna head OK and say, OK, After Effects, you know, you know everything. Just like, you know, when a little kid tries to argue with you about, you know, Santa Claus is real and all that good stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna hit OK. And I'm going to rename this Awesome Compo. All right. So we're going to hit Render. And it's... Working. Perfect. Okay. 
All right, so we're done, and we have our video right here, ready to go, and it looks gorgeous. Um, this is a really good way to get your, if you're trying to like send proofs and stuff to a client, and your H.264 module isn't working, and you're working on HD, you can export with this. It takes a little bit of time. It takes about the same amount of time as a QuickTime animation, but it's significantly lower in size than a QuickTime animation, and it's probably the clearest you're going to get. So, all right, so that is your quick tip for the day. Um, I was going to say to you guys, you should uh, probably check out my articles over here at Inside the Hive if you haven't already. All, obviously, you are watching this if you're on Video Hive right now, but I have been the lead writer over here at Video Hive for about the last month, and I got a lot of articles in here already. Then also, I am the owner of VisualEffectsTuts.com, which rounds up visual effects tutorials from across the web every week, and I got tons of stuff. I always give away stuff, and I give away stuff on my vlogs, which is at youtube.com slash visual effects tuts. So you can go here, see my goofy mug, and uh, look at this joker down here. Joker. Anyways, um, but yeah, you guys can uh, check all those out. Let me know what you think. If there's anything you would like to see in future tutorials, like quick tips and things like that, please let me know. Leave me a comment, or you can shoot me an email at tofer at tutsplus.com or you can twitter me at twitter.com slash t-o-e underscore f-u-r toe underscore fur kind of like a hobbit foot if you can't remember that pretty hard to forget about a hobbit foot when you associate it with someone's name so um anyways that's it for me and I will see you guys in the next tutorial or the next vlog see you later